It is kind of so, a strange crop. I can't hardly get. Hey, Aaron, can you see this? Yeah. So I don't know how to I'll move my mic with me. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> if you look, so there's Milo being raised in Kentucky and Tennessee. Looks terrible. If you look at all the records, they're growing in the western half of the wheat belt area. It's high potassiums and stuff. And then the soil pHs with the heavy potassium area seems to be more level. Mm. But you don't get 200 bushel where it rains more. It's out in the arid areas. Texas panhandles down through the <clears throat> lower part of Texas. That's where it's big, big yield. Interesting. So it's the one crop that I can safely say as you move east, unfortunately, it's not going to be as good. Yeah. Everything else gets better. Yeah. I mean, soft wheat, your corns, your soybeans. Yeah, yeah. You get 130, 40 bushel wheat. Yeah. We don't get that out west, but Milo's one of them as you go east past basically Wichita. Once you start getting west, that 100, 135 east, then it starts dropping off. Yeah. I mean, you... Your dad. I don't mm -hmm. know if you did, but raised Milo. He did. Said it was never that great, right? Um, he'd have I asked him I asked him, I said, Dad, when you're when you're raising Milo, what was a respectable yield? He said eighty bushel Milo. Yeah. I said, What was the he's he's like, I've cut hundred, hundred and twenty bushel Milo. It's like wasn't as common. Said, but that's good. He's sounded it seemed as though it was what I was gathering is that we get we're we got too wet. Mm -hmm. Um and that's our problem with wheat, is we guess Right now, typically, we're just wet. Mm -hmm. and, and then we heat up real fast, and then it stops raining at the end of June. Yeah. And so, you know, a lot, actually, a lot of guys this year, I had more convert. now we're more connected with guys than ever before, but a lot of guys are asking me, why are you planting corn first instead of beans? Because so many, in so much of the country, it's opposite, beans first, corn last. Well, here, we're trying to get tasseled, pollinated like pollination mostly done by the end of july because when august hits we rarely get rain and it rarely isn't over 100 degrees and it's windy and hot yes you gotta that's like a no go zone yeah it is it is a hot blow dryer <clears throat> mm -hmm. for 40 for about 40 days mm -hmm. about every single year and so we're trying to get corn in the ground all the way grown tasseled pollinated and on to ear fill during that that stage and now we're planting you know we're planting 112 13 14 day corn to try to stretch that fill a little more into september but you know and then our beans we're planting like a four or five to a five oh maturity and we're doing that it um well i mean i did mine here at the end of may because That'll hold, 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 and it will will burn and burn and burn in August, and it'll kind of keep our plants a little shorter. And I want to put all that pod fill in September. We almost always catch a rain the first September Memorial Memorial, Aaron, no Labor Day, Labor Day weekend. Always rains Labor Day weekend, and if it doesn't, it don't matter anyway because no early planted beans will do good, no late planted beans will do good. But we we'll catch that rain, we we'll get a fantastic pod fill, and it will swing. It will swing twenty bushels without. I mean, all day long, mm -hmm. we can bump 20 bushel on the bean yields. But anyway. Yep. Sorry. Yeah, we don't do 80 bushel Milo. No. 80 bushel don't. Milo is That's bad. That's a failure out yeah. there. Um, bottom, I mean, dry lands, 80 to, I've had 150, 160 bushel dry land. On the right irrigated, ear. yeah, irrigated. 150 to 200 mm -hmm. depending 200's more rare but yeah the I've 175 I've seen you cut a lot of 180 bushel milo how much? I've seen you cut a lot of 180 bushel milo oh yeah yeah yeah. so it's different one but one time you probably don't remember this so one time I was I was like he's full of crap it was like 100, 190 bushel milo and I told Ben I was like you're so full of crap there's no way it's 190 bushel milo all the way across and Ben took a video legit Driving all the way across the field, holding it right there is a big old. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and I was like, "Gosh, dang, that's that was the year that I had two hundred bushel Milo." Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of the first years we started working together. Yep, I got a picture on my phone of that Milo. Yeah, it's some crazy stuff. Yep. Did it just tiller insane? 
It just fill in the head. It's just like wheat. Okay. It'll fill in the head. You can get a big, nice head, but does it actually fill all the berries? Mm. That's what makes all the difference. Okay. Kids these days. Yeah, I was going to say, our, our, <laughs> the boy in here. <laughs> the head's really what makes the difference. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> <laughs> it happens when you have a non-farmer in the room. Yeah. Camera guy. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. 